I recommend that you back up your radio or model settings before proceeding with the firmware update because there is a possibility you may lose them and then all you will need to do is just restore them to your radio. We can now see there is a new version of Companion available, it's 2.3.10. So would you like to download it? We say yes. We are going to save it. I'm going to go to my radios. Open text Companion and we'll save it in that menu. Now we need to install, we just say yes. And I'm just going to click the defaults. And companion will install. Okay, we click next and we're going to finish. And the new companion will launch. And there we go, we're on version 2.3.10. Now it's going to ask us, uh, it will tell us there's new firmware for our radio. So we now need to download that. So I'm in there, it says a new version of OpenTX TX16S Lua, no heli, English firmware is available. Um, so do you want to download it now? So say yes. And we're gonna save that under the firmwares. So I'm gonna just put at the end that this is 2.3.10, so I know the version. And click Save. So the, the firmware is downloading now. Okay, the firmware is downloaded. Now what we need to do is put our radio into bootloader mode. Now this means pushing trim number one and trim four into the center. You hold both of them in and then just turn your radio on. So I'll do that now. And on the screen it will say uh, right firmware or exit. Now all we need to do is plug our radio into our computer. Okay, and once we've done that, we will go to right firmware to radio. We click on there and we check that it's the right version. There it is, it's the 2.3.10. Okay, make sure the check hardware compatibility and then we say right. Okay, there we go, flashing done. We can say close. And we can now unplug our radio. And push exit. And then we reboot our radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning, switch warning. Okay, now I want to show you what happens. I've got an, a warning expected version 2.3 uh, 0034 and that's because uh, I haven't updated the SD card content so that's fine now I've got to go through that process now I've already put a video out for that so you will know how to do that so I'm now going to go and do that and then everything should be good on my radio thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.